with the American voter begins with a plan to end the rampant government corruption and put the special interests out of business. We're going to do it. I understand it. I understand it. I understand it very well. I want everyone in Washington to hear and to heed the words that we all say together. If we win on November 8th, we are going to drain the swamp in Washington, D.C. We're draining the swamp. The Trump campaign has been saying that Florida's must win for them. Absolutely. And, and I mean, it, they it, can't it, win without it. Donald Trump will carry the state of Florida. You know, I'm, I'm guessing that the people in Brooklyn, they're probably, they're, I can see their fingers That's probably. Hillary Clinton had been. Yeah, fingers probably bleeding because there's no more nail to bite. The uh, scene here is so different than it was a few hours ago when people were happy and relaxed. I have been looking around the room at people who are stone faced. Some of them have been crying. This was a white lash against a changing country. It was a white lash against a black president. This is the people rising up saying it's time to listen to us. The protesters shaking cars, breaking taillights. cameras caught someone throwing water at a Trump supporter passing by in a wheelchair. A man shouted back, asking officers to help him out. Then this, a young man running in fear from protesters, then getting tackled before breaking free. We point him to police. He says it was the only way he could get out. What am I going to do? Attack just for wearing hat. a shirt? Where's my hat? They stole my hat? That don't say stole from me. Fight in the courts, fight in the streets, fight in the streets, fight online, fight at the ballot box. You get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not Their idea is nonviolent.
What is happening here is a coup d'etat, what I call a soft coup. A silent coup to get him out of office, ultimately. This is a silent coup. Sean, I, I've said it before. Let me say it with you tonight. This is an attempted coup d'etat to get rid of the duly elected president of the United States. We're going to lose the country. This is about a full-on assault by the left, the Democratic Party, to absolutely carry out a coup d'etat against President Trump. Trying to overthrow an elected president via a silent coup based entirely upon lies created by the Hillary campaign. It is more dangerous than anything you can imagine. A new report reveals several key aides to the Obama administration plotted a coup against President Trump. And plotted a coup against President Trump. Plotted a coup. This is not a game. What is happening in this country is dangerous and it needs to be stopped.